Hello everybody! Today we are going to talk about the subtract command and how it can help you with your 3D modeling. This is a very cool and exciting tool because it will allow you to make much more complex shapes. In order to demonstrate how the subtract command works, I'm going to give you a couple of examples. I'll start off by making a square named my square with side lengths of 2. Then I'm going to make a circle named my circle with a radius of 1.5. Then I will proceed by coloring my square blue and then showing them both overlapping. As you can see, we have just made a square with side lengths of 2, which is in the upper right hand quadrant. Our circle, which is centered at the origin, is displayed and is covering up part of the square. I'm showing you what these two shapes look like overlapped so that you can get a better idea of what happens when you use the subtract command. Now let me demonstrate how it works. I will use the all caps subtract command with the first parameter being my square and with the second parameter being my circle. This subtracts the circle from the square. This will take all parts of the square where the circle is overlapping it and remove them from the square. Then I will take my circle out of the show command so that we can see what my square looks like after we've applied the subtract command to it. And I'll run our program. As you can see, the circle is no longer visible, and only part of the square that was not covered by the circle is still visible. Think of the subtract command as removing all of the points that were in both the circle and the square from the square. Or in other words, removing the intersection of these two shapes from the square. Still confused? Let me show you another example that might help you out. Let's use the subtract function to make a ring. In order to do this, we'll make another circle which is smaller than our first circle and subtract it from our larger circle. But before we do this, let's remove the square from our program. Then let's create a my circle 2 with a radius of 1. Then let's subtract my circle 2 from my circle 1 by putting my circle and then my circle 2 as the second parameter. Then I'll use the show co command to display just the remaining my circle after we've used the subtract command. Before we run our program, let's look at what our code will do. First, we create a circle with a radius of 1.5. Then we create a smaller circle named my circle 2 with a radius of 1. Both of these will be centered at the origin. Then we subtract our smaller circle from our larger circle using the subtract command and we display what remains of the larger circle after we subtract. This should make a ring then, shouldn't it? Let's run the program and see. Just like we thought, we have a ring here with an inner radius of 1 and an outer radius of 1.5, which gives it a width of 0.5. The subtract command allows us to make a wider array of more complex shapes. Play around with it a bit and see what kinds of interesting designs you can make.